I have collected the craziest one-star hotel reviews across all of America, and today, I'm gonna put them to the test. My only rule for this challenge is I have to leave a five-star review at every hotel, but I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. But did he lie? You're a liar! I don't mean, did he lie in the reviews he gave in the video? He didn't. I, I watched. I mean, did he actually leave a five-star review in his name for these hotels online somewhere? I did a little recon and I'll tell you later, but first let's learn how to do this from his video. Bomb squad, 60 cops around the building. I was forced to go to another room and they refused to refund me. Don't stay here, one star. To make our own version, I need a photo of a hotel. So I went to my Google Photos account and found this. Yeah, that's an old photo of the inside of our partially renovated RV with my grandkids. This photo is not gonna work. I also found this photo of the Fairview Hotel from our visit to Ireland. Let's jump into CapCut. Here's the photo of the Fairview Hotel that I found and you'll notice immediately that it is not a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so we're just going to change the ratio here by clicking on ratio and choosing 16 by 9. Then I'm going to scale this up by dragging this slider here and we'll drag it down so we can see the Fairview Hotel and it's too bright. You'll notice that in Ryan's video, the background is blurred and darkened. So to darken this, we're just gonna go down here under Video Basic and take the opacity slider and slide it down a little bit. That way the text will pop more. Then we're gonna jump over to Effects and find the blur filter under Lens. Here it is. We're just going to drag it onto the photo and we can adjust the blur amount up here and we want it to be visible and clear that it's actually hotel but we want the text that's going to be on top to be readable. If you don't see an option to modify an effect it's because you don't have the effect highlighted or because that effect doesn't have any properties that can be modified. In this case we can so if we click off of it it's like oh no I can't see that effect but if you click on video basic you can see the effects that are applied to this photo and we can modify them by clicking on the pencil and bam there we are the effect is highlighted in the timeline and now we can adjust the blur amount next we need to add some text to do that we're going to click on text and choose add text under trending we have default so it's going to drag the default text on top of this photo and drag it over to fill up the entire photo next we're going to add the text that i found from an actual review online for the fairview hotel in ireland so i'm going to click in this space here under text basic Highlight that, delete it, and paste the text that I previously prepared. And you'll see it doesn't fit the screen. So I'm just going to change the font size so it fits. That looks pretty good. You'll notice in Ryan's video, the text is left justified. To do that, we're just gonna scroll down here and select alignment and left justify. It would be better if the lines were a little more even. So I'm just going to go up here under basic, scroll all the way up and maybe just adjust it a little bit like this. And I think that looks a little bit better. Now, before we animate the text the way Ryan does it, let's go ahead and record the voiceover for the text, just like Ryan has in his video. To record the text, we just click on the record icon right here in the top of the timeline on the right and this window pops up. It lets us choose our input device, which mic we want to use. We have three options. I can use the mic on my computer, this mic that I have hooked up to my computer, or I can use Trev's Soul microphone, which is my iPhone, and it detects that my iPhone is nearby. That's actually a good option if you don't have another microphone to record into because you can put the microphone, you know, your iPhone like right by your mouth and it's gonna sound better than shouting across the room to your laptop. So let's go ahead and use the mic I have hooked up and hit record. Son assaulted in room by stranger when security called and manager just brushed it off as nothing. Would not stay there if you value your safety. Then you just hit stop and you'll notice that the Recording appeared here on the bottom. I just closed this window by clicking on this red X and now we're just going to trim it up a little bit I have a little pause in the beginning. So I'm just going to drag this back Boop. With the audio in the timeline we can make it maybe a little bit better with one of the built-in features that CapCut has I'm just going to make sure that audio is highlighted. So I have basic selected and Down here we have loudness normalization I'm going to click on that and I want you to watch these levels when I hit loudness normalization It's going to try to make all the levels consistent. So I click on this guy and 
Bam, notice that it raised the peaks of all of them. If you want to see what the levels are, you can watch this little guy right here. Brush it off as But it's kind of hard to see it small. To see the levels indicator bigger, you just click on it and it pops up over here on the left. Nope, that's the right. Sun assaulted in room by stranger once. And you can see that it's hitting just below zero, so those levels are pretty good, solid and strong. Next, we're going to animate the text. To do that, we're going to click on the text and jump over to text, animation, and we can modify the text animation coming onto the screen, leaving the screen, or just have it loop. We want to modify it as it comes on the screen, so we're going to click on in and find something that works. Ryan's was kind of typing on, so let's scroll down here and find some type on effect. We have a couple options. We've got typewriter, retro typewriter, type one. Let's click on type one and see what that looks like. Okay, we see that it typed it on, but it was way too fast. To make it last longer, we just drag this duration slider over here. Sun assaulted in room by stranger when security called. Now that's pretty good, but you'll notice that sometimes Ryan has the text typing on, and at one point he has the text all fade up at once for like a whole phrase. So to do that, we have to kind of cheat it a little bit. Let's get it right to the point that we want to have the text fade on. If you value your safety. For the not stay there if you value your safety, I am going to add a cut right here in the text by hitting Command B or this icon right here. I don't want it to complete it here. I'm going to get rid of would not stay there if you value your safety for this part right here. And this is just kind of a little hack because we can't do it automatically. We have to just kind of think outside the box a little bit. So I'm going to click on text, basic, and delete would not stay there if you value your safety. And then in this second part, I'm going to leave just would not stay there if you value your safety. I'm going to drag this guy up here so I can drag the bottom one all the way over so that this part stays for the whole thing. I want this part to stay there the entire time and I want this part to appear afterwards. And of course it looks a little messy at first, but what we're gonna do is take this would not stay there and just kind of make it fit by dragging it down. And you'll notice that the wood should be over here. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the wood and hit space, hold down the space a bunch of times until it gets about where I need it to. We'll have to futz with a little bit to make it fit, but this would go something like that. Okay, I've got it lined up about as good as I can get it lined up. And if we don't do anything else, that text will just pop on, but you'll notice that Ryan's text fades on here. So for the second piece of text, we're just going to click on the text, go to animation and find one that says fade in, which is this guy and it faded on too fast there, so we're just going to go down here to duration and drag it over to the right. So it takes a little longer to fade on, and let's see what that looks like. The manager just brushed it off as nothing. Would not stay there if you val- Next, we need to add those stars that appear on the bottom of the screen. Now, I googled and tried to find stars that I could use. Couldn't find any, so I made some stars that look kind of just like Ryan's. They are linked in the description below if you want to use them and any of the other assets that I have on screen right now. So we're just going to go back to media and find the stars. And I'm going to drag them on top of everything and make them last the entire duration of everything. And they're obviously too big, but I'm going to fix that in a second. We could use red or green stars. Let's go ahead and use green stars to put on top and drag it over to fill the entire sequence below. And then I'm going to highlight both of them. And I'm just gonna drag the scale slider over to the left to scale it all down. And I'm gonna position them here at the bottom of the screen. Bam, there's all the stars. And you'll notice that on Ryan's, they are gray in the beginning, so we're not going to change them to green until the end. So to do that, we're going to drag this guy all the way over here till after I'm done speaking. I'm gonna line it up so that as soon as I'm done talking, the stars pop on, except this is a one-star review. We only want one star to show up, not all five. So to do that, I'm just gonna make sure that the green is highlighted, not the gray. I'm going to jump over here to mask, choose rectangle, and just position the rectangle over the one star I want to show up. And obviously, we can have as many stars or fractions of stars as we want with these star templates that I provided you with. You are free to use any way you want. I fully authorize you. And then we line it up like that. So we'll click off and look at this. And you notice in Ryan's video that he actually said one star and I forgot to say that. So let's just go ahead and record that one star. Next, you'll notice in Ryan's video that he's got a picture of the dude down here. 
the dude didn't leave his picture. He just left an initial, but that's no fun. So let's put a picture of me down here. Here's the best picture of me I could find. Let's go ahead and drag it on the timeline. Obviously, it's way too big. So we're going to scale it down after we make it into a circle like in Ryan. So I'm going to click on it, select mask, select circle, and bam, we have a circle. Let's just position it around my beautiful face. If I wanted to scale this down, it would just scale the mask down. I don't want to scale the mask down. I want to scale all of it down so it fits down there. To do that, I have to click on basic. And now I can select scale and the little icon of me goes down here. I'm just going to leave a little room for the real name of the guy that left this review, Danny Clancy. That's what it looks like on Google. So we're just going to put Danny Clancy down there. Hope, hope you don't mind, Danny. It, it's public, right? So let's go back into text, select default, drag it onto the timeline, Clancy, and we'll just position it so it fits right next to me. Now, so far, if we just scroll through it, it looks pretty identical to what Ryan did. But if you go back and watch Ryan's video, he actually had some sound effects when the guy talks about like, you know, bomb squads and police and things. In our review, this guy says his son was assaulted by a stranger. So we need a sound effect for assault. So we're going to click on audio, click on sound effects and type in the word fight. Yeah, some good old fashioned punches. So I'm just going to drag this down to the bottom of the timeline here and find a couple of those punches in the beginning. I can kind of see right here where the peaks are. So I'm going to trim this guy like that, delete the rest. And when he says assault, I'm going to add that sound effect. Assaulted. I'll put my volume up a little higher. Sun assaulted in room by stranger once. And then the other place we might want a sound effect is right here when that star comes on. So we want kind of like a button sound. We're not going to find exactly what Ryan had, but. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. Let's just go ahead and click the plus sign, add it to the timeline. Stay there if you value your safety. One star. About there is when we want this to end. So we're going to highlight all of these and just hit Command B. Because they're all highlighted, it will select all of them and cut all of them. And I'm just going to delete them. In a minute, I'm going to tell you if Ryan lied, if he actually left reviews on the internet somewhere for those hotels. But first, let's watch our masterpiece. Son assaulted in room by stranger when security called and manager just brushed it off as nothing would not stay there if you value your safety. One star. Dude, that was pretty amazing. And we didn't have a team of graphics and video guys making this in some fancy pro program. So you could totally do this too. One of the reasons you're not getting the views and subscribers you want on your channel is because you didn't know some of the things I just shared with you and because you haven't mastered CapCut. Hey, pay attention. Go listen to my paha. Sure, you can watch random tutorials and eventually figure out how to edit or you could take my course and master CapCut in just a few days, saving you years so you can start growing your channel right now. I literally started my career by teaching editing in Hollywood 23 years ago, and then I went on to edit commercials for some of the biggest movies in the world, like Captain America and Avengers and Disney's Moana in Cinema's Boxing Day. And yeah, I did some Hollywood voiceover too. And then I went on to create hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube, getting millions and millions of views. I've already taught hundreds of business professionals to master video, like one of my original students, Elena, who is crushing it in real estate because of her YouTube channel. If you're serious about video, and I'm guessing you are since you've made it this far, go ahead and click the link below and start making videos right now that get views and make you money. There's absolutely no risk if you implement what I teach you and you're not getting more views and more subscribers or you're not happy for any reason, I'll refund your money in 30 days, no questions asked. And did Ryan Trahan lie? No, nope, it took a minute, but I found his reviews. Here's one of them. Click here to master CapCut starting like right now.